So it is Tuesday and I'm getting ready to go over to the Junebug studio to operate camera switcher and set up lighting for another Facebook Live event. This is the second one that we've done and it's pretty fun to do. Um, yeah, as far as video stuff, it's been a busy week. This is my fourth day in a row filming. The first three were at Bridge City and yeah, and now, now uh, this one, which I don't know, it, not technically filming, but close enough, it counts. Uh, I just passed over all the lighting stuff to Moses across the fence, and I'm gonna carry the rest of the stuff over and. Uh about how I have all the lights set up. I got three points here. Pretty bright. And I got a light strip along the complete back. And you can't see it right now because it's off, but I got a light here. Let's get that out of there. So it just kind of puts a, a light around the guitars. Small but nice. Also, I have one for the drums here. So whatever you. So I've been in talk with somebody about a music video. It's in the beginning stages, but I need to do a little bit of location scouting. And one of the things I need to find is a phone booth or just a pay phone. Preferably a phone booth, but I know both are becoming more and more rare. Um, so I made a post on Reddit to the Portland Reddit asking if anybody knew where I could find these. And I got a handful of replies and I've kind of mapped them all out in, a, in an order that makes sense to drive. I'm going to go visit all of them and take a little bit of video, a little bit of pictures, and then I can send them to the, uh, the, the guy and see if he likes any of them. Um. Alright, taking off. Haley is joining me for the location scouting today. Uh, I think you joined for the, at least the first one of the Androck music video. I think we were already out, but I didn't have a choice. Oh, so I just brought, <laughs> brought you along. She's choosing to join this time, but we are going to go to some like haunted cafe or something after we're finished with all of this. Um, first stop is... Well, post office for four packages, and then Ed's Market on Lombard. Did you write it down? I got a list, yep. Okay, the first place that we made it to is Ed's Markets on Lombard. Um, yeah, it does have a phone booth. It's on the corner. I'm going to get a little bit of video, a little bit of pictures, like I already said. I kind of like this one. Yeah, what'd you get? Some Nice. All dressed. Oh, Jones! Got your Jones soda. It's We're orange, just... not red, but Orange and cream. And stuff. Nice. We were just talking about that. And I got this spiked sparkling water because I wanted to know what it's like. Spiked. It's alcoholic oh. sparkling water. I'm surprised. I've never seen that before. I, uh, I think this one could work. But it's definitely not what I have pictured and what I assume he has pictured, which is fine. We got like five other ones to check out. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so we pulled into the parking lot, or at least the area that this this phone should be. We don't see it yet. Um, kind of looping around the Safeway parking lot. Oh no, that's oh, that's something else. 
Uh, yeah, I don't think that phone booth is there. So I'm gonna pull over, put directions into the next spot, and go check that out. This next spot is Union Station, which is supposed to have a long row of phone, I don't know, I don't know if they're phone booths, but I think they're a little bit old fashioned looking. Um, it's a super busy and somewhat sketchy area of town, and we weren't able to park close, so we're about three, three blocks away, yeah, somewhere in there. Uh, found a nice spot, gonna walk from here. station as much as I hoped I would um, the the boots they do look cool but they're in this dark corner and I just couldn't find any angles that I thought looked nice um, I went and talked to the security people because I knew that if I brought just a little bit more of a production in there which wouldn't be much but just a, you know a small amount that um, being in a station like that you might get kicked out so I went and talked to a guy named Antoine Anton and he's the head of security and originally he was telling me all these hoops that I have to jump through, but then I explained like how small this operation is going to be. You know, there's not going to be any big lights. It's just going to be me and one other person. And he told me that yeah, just don't worry about it. Just contact him when we come back. But even knowing that we can film there, I'm still not sold on it. Um, so we are off to location number four. Okay, so the next stop here is the west side. At least what I wrote down. I wrote down the west side of the pedestrian bridge right on the, I don't know, right here. Um, we just pulled in. Another area I've never been in. It looks kind of cool. Hopefully this is something that uh, is more what we're looking for. Okay, so this is the phone booth here. Definitely not what I am looking for. Um, but Oh yeah, and also Haley pointed out that this just kind of looks like a hamburger, like a, a tater tot burger, the symbol. This is also on the east side of the river, and I wrote down the west side, so we're going to quickly walk across just to see if by chance there's something different on the other side, but there's not. Must be a millionaire. Yep, Haley bet me a million dollars that it's the same. I agree. And there is no phone booth on this side. So the only one is on the east side of the bridge is this. So we're coming up to the final stop of the day and we're waiting at a turn lane right now. But we can see it. Haley saw it. I'm looking at it and it's a booth. It is glorious. And I'm eating my words. There's no phone in there. Just a nice looking booth. 